Okay, so today's going to be hopefully a shorter video. I don't mean to do, there's not a whole lot to do, but I was talking about the gear from uh, the arena part, and I figured, hey, you know what, how about I make a video out of that, and we can just kind of see how the gear rolls and all that stuff. Uh, got a few summons to do here first. Nothing. Uh, this guy. Uh, let's go over here. Nothing. Um, so I'm 50 summons away. Hopefully I can... I think I will before the 20th, but uh, it's 50-50. Um, partially I kind of want to just like say screw it and buy like a Mystic Pack and then just get this over with. Um, but 50 summons... let's go see here. 50, 50 summons is a lot actually, right? It's like 50 metal, 500 metal, so it's this one has about 50 bucks worth of uh, summons. It's not really worth it, in my opinion. Uh, 620, 60 gets you 620, so it's not really, yeah, the more, you gotta pay more to get more, so yeah, it's not really wholly worth it. Um, but we'll see, like I said, I mean, I, don't, I might cave. I don't really care enough. Like, I kinda wanna get the pity just because, like, I don't want all these 100 and, you know, 50 pulls to have gone to nothing because. Otherwise, yeah, because I mean, like I said, the point of this was to maybe get some other five star while you're pulling, but the fact that um, you haven't gotten anything, well, it's a little disappointing to say the least. Um, I guess I can, you know, I'll be okay with the consolation prize of, of taking Great Chief Kiwana, but you know, that is what it is. Um, anyway, so let's let's talk about these real quick before we get on to that while we're while we're here, you know. Uh, so Seaside Iceria or Summertime Iceria. Uh, she's alright. Uh, if, you, if you run a lot of debuffers and you have strong stripping abilities, uh, she's going to be really strong uh, in whatever team you want to run her in. Um, the ability to soul burn, especially in RTA, I think for those of you who saw my RTA video last time, we got kind of dumpstered on by her. The ability to soul burn one for free and then just like get somebody with a bomb and then like, you know, maybe have another soul burn for another bomb and then just nuke a whole team. It's pretty strong. Um, again, you get kind of countered by a lot of the stuff, so like you'll get countered by a Zerato. Um, or, uh, what was the other one? Uh, Inferno Kawazu. Of course, at the time, my Inferno Kawazu got banned, which left me only one cleansing unit against all the debuffs they had, so that's kind of why I ended up losing there. But if you position around her properly, um, oftentimes you won't really have that big a problem with her, so keep that in mind. Like, she's only good when people don't bring enough, you know, counter, counter debuff stuff, and, um, Right now, I don't have a whole lot of, like, units that are... Well, I do have a decent amount of them, right? But my Zerato's out of commission, not because he's not good. It's just that I threw gear on, from him on someone else. I have to put it back on him at some point, but kind of lazy. Uh, obviously, my Kawazu got banned there. I could have run something like um, my Holiday Euphine is, is kind of geared. I could have used her. Um, but yeah, so it was kind I got kind of greedy in what I chose there. <laughs> Instead of choosing Yuha, I probably chose should have chose something else, but... Keep that in mind. So, she's really strong. Um, any kind of cleansing just kind of beats her usually. But her S2 ability to just push everyone forward when you do an AoE is pretty good as well, right? Um, but yeah. Like, the bombs is, is a good part of her. Um, it's a lot of her damage, obviously. Um, but the CR push is pretty good as well. Um, ML Sher or Fire Shermia isn't too good right now in the meta. Oh, I guess I can talk about her her artifact. Her artifact's only really good on her, but you can run it on other stuff. You can run it on um, the new ML Flan, right? Uh, so you can run it on other units. It's just that not like some units have a chance to crit. As, even if you bring their crit all the way as low as possible, it's a fifteen percent chance. So you're gonna get fifteen percent in sometimes. I mean, sometimes you get fifteen percent on on effectiveness, right? But now there's another one in there for your crit chance. So it's really only good on her if we're being honest. Um, so yeah, Shermia. Uh, she's alright. Um, she's not the most useful just because she's really squishy and she doesn't do it like. Ask yourself, why would I bring Shermia when I can just bring Hua Young, right? That's kind of like sums up the entire thing. They both do the same thing, they're just single target. Um, only she's a lot squishier and she does not hit nearly as hard as Hua Young does against um, high health units, right? Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. Like. You can pull her if you want, but to me, if you're pulling Shermia, you're only pulling for ML Shermia dupes, um, which is what I would do. Well, I wouldn't pull for her, but like if I was going to pull for her, it'd be for dupes for her. Um, I don't really recommend pulling for the artifact either, 
Uh, not a whole lot of people can use it. Some people can, like uh, Emma Lilius uses. I've seen Emma Lilius with this. I don't think it's her best option, but she can use it pretty well. Um, yeah, she can use it pretty well just because she has two non-attack skills. But she uses so many non-attack skills that you max this out pretty quickly, uh, which isn't a bad thing by any means. But mainly, you just want the speed out of this, which is thirty percent speed, and I feel like you're better served with something else um, because the attack isn't really going to do very much. Let's keep that in mind. Um, again, this is in, this is basically the perfect artifact for ML Kawazu, though. Um, I'm not gonna pull for to increase his artifact efficiency or whatever. Um, so you know that's up to you. Uh, but there's a lot, there's a few other people who can use it. It's just that it's not like, again, warriors have so many good artifacts. Where you're competing with Jacob Plate and Sigurd Scythe, and um, yeah, that was like the two main ones that are fighting all the time. But you know, you got a bunch of other ones to deal with as well. Uh, but anyway, so let's go. So this is just a few thoughts here while I'm making sort of a smart, uh, shorter video, theoretically anyway. So obviously I don't have enough to just get everything. And I still have to get this too. Should I just buy this now? I think I'll have enough for later. Um, I don't have enough to buy all of them, so I'm just going to get a few of them just to see. I'll have to kind of be more... Oh, actually this has changed, hasn't it? Oh, 12 hours. It'll change by the end of today. I forgot who these are changing into. I probably should pull ML Cowrick. But he's just not really fun. I don't know. I, I know it's kind of like a bad thing to be pulling for fun, but like for fun units, but eh, it can't be asked. Um, do I need anything else here? Let me get this one. Um, so yeah, let's let's kind of look here. Health, attack, effect, resistance. You want to look at like what stats are not useful on a piece of gear. Um, so for anyone running health set, obviously the health is useful and the speed is useful and the effect resistance is useful. Now, this could be pretty good if you're running it on an, on like a because um, my researcher carrot is running a health set. Um, this would be better if this was effectiveness, but um, yeah. So we'll we'll think about this one. This one looks kind of interesting. Um, we just want like the best of the best. So. Again, obviously, if you're running a health set, you kind of want speed, so this one doesn't have any speed, so I think we'll, we'll pass on it for now. The fact that this one has a 5 speed is kind of like what's kind of drawing me towards it. Let's take a look at this helmet. So, this helmet has basically everything you want, obviously, all the defensive stats. This is good for like a tank or like a crow or just someone who needs all these stats uh, in high quantities. Funnily enough, despite having a 5 max speed roll, we only have uh, 1 off max HP rolls like everything else is seven, which the max is eight. I mean, it, not to come, you know, it's not to complain necessarily, but it does seem kind of like, eh. Of course, the speed's probably the most important stat here, so glad to get that five. Um, here, this is kind of interesting. Um, a speed boot for a health set. Uh, it's got basically every stat. This is kind. This is the kind of thing you'd probably run on something like a. Um, ML Basar or uh, Tamarin because they do scale their health with their healing with attack and they do need speed um, contrary to what my counter bus counter counter DJ Basar would have you believe <laughs> uh, they do need speed so this is pretty good um, now we're looking at the last two here uh, health 13% health uh, it's pretty good but again this is one of the ones I mentioned this is kind of confusing where it's like it's got a lot of offensive stats. I'm not really sure who would use this. Um, it's got basically everything offensive and then just health up here. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure who would use something like this. Maybe if you want, like, a, um, if you're not running immunity on your Alencia, maybe you could run this. Or not Alencia. Um, Alencia or maybe Shu or something like that. But I do think that they want the critical hit damage more than they want the health. But I don't know. There could be some weird experimental builds we see out there. Um... Health attack speed. This is probably like the best one here out of all of them. So we're gonna take this one and we're just gonna boost it real quick and see how we see how we fare. Uh, let's go over here. What's this? Oh yeah, I have a. See there you go. There's more gear here. Oh wow, I have a lot of these. Uh, Kawazu. Let's kind of guide this using. Well, let's take this here. Necklaces. I always need um, crit damage necklaces for. Life steal, so we'll just take that. Effectiveness, health, attack, as yeah, is garbage. Um, let's see. Revenge sets. 
can be whatever because revenge that sucks. Um, let's go take a look at what Kawazu needs. Because basically, if I'm getting attack sets, it's only going to go on Kawazu because he's doing amazing these days. Like, I didn't think. I knew that. Obviously, I, I wanted him because I knew this would, would like, improve him. Because basically, that's his main problem is, like, someone will AoE strip everything, and then someone will come after and do the same thing again. Or just AoE after that first strip. And then, like, so he cleanses the first guy, and then he gets, like, CC'd by the second person. And you're just like, well, okay, then. Well, this gives him a little more longevity in that sense. Now, if they're running two strippers, you know, that's, that's its own problem. But uh, what, what are his other ones, actually? Change... Additional 5%. It's not too bad, but... Uh, yeah, the immunity is just infinitely better. Um, let's go over here. Let's look at his gear. We could use a ring replacement, and that's basically it. Okay. So let's... Let's, uh, let's pull this ring here. Attack percentage. What's this? Effectiveness. Healthy yeah, attack. Effect resistance, defense, defense, and speed. I kind of like this one. If this was HP, that'd be way better. Uh, but the speed is kind of hard to pass up. Um, yeah. I have 4% crit chance here, which is wasted. Um, the speed on here is pretty good. It's pretty good. This is probably why I kept this one. Uh, a lot of these have really good speed on them. So 10 speed, 12 speed. So this is kind of why I kept him on attack set. Because normally you probably run him on like a speed set, right? To get like maybe 200 speed and then get as much attack after that. Right, have that as a basis and then build attack after that. Here I kind of have the attack set as a basis and then sp speed, you know, try to get it where I can. Um, so let's see, where are we going now? We have to go here. We're going to take a look at this uh, new... Where are we? Uh, over here. Not that. Uh, high HP ring. So let's enhance this. I actually don't have that many materials. Um... I'm not sure why no one's using this. One of the reasons I got this is because I was like, oh, a lot of people need a health ring and they don't have enough health rings, but there's just one casualty right there. Uh, I don't know who's going to use that, but it looks pretty decent. I don't think anybody's going to use this, but do I really want to get rid of it? Um, who needs defense that also needs these stats down here? And speed. I'm just going to get rid of this. This looks like a really bad piece anyway. Let's see. 13, I mean, it's like 18, it's like 23 plus whatever this is, which is like ass. Yeah, I don't know why I upgraded that. I don't know where that came from. I don't know who's using, who was using that, but sorry, we're going to get rid of it. Uh, let's see what we get here. Okay, so we got a 7 into attack. Minimum roll into defense. And two mid rolls into effectiveness. And we missed speed entirely. Um, yeah, I'm not sure who can use this, if we're being honest. Uh, attack is probably the one we didn't want to hit, just because whoever needs this is going to need attack less. Speed is probably the most important stat here. Um, with the health, with the defense percentage being kind of a bonus, but we got mineraled on that, so that's kind of that kind of sucks. Uh, with effectiveness being probably the second worst other than attack percentage uh, do I want to burn any more gear on this man that's a fifth that's a plus 15 it only gets me a plus two we'll save that for some other time I have a bunch of these um, if we get like a five speed it'll be pretty good obviously I don't think that's gonna happen but you know Better to be optimistic than not. Okay, let's see. Do I have any junk? I mean, if we're being honest, it's all junk. Like this, I'll just get rid of that. So that was a five and we got a seven. Defense, it wasn't too bad. Um, it does seem like a waste, though. Let's go look at let's go look at who has like a health set. So I'm thinking about running Eula on a health set, but I'm gonna take most of her gear off and re uh, re gear her. See what I'm gonna do with her. Uh, this isn't too bad on her. Um, 
who has, you don't. If we look down here, you have a health set. However, this ring is probably better than what I just got, yeah. Eight speed. I don't run her fast, she's decently slow. Um, but this is like way better. Just full health, more speed, more defense, and like these other two stats. And you don't have a th we're not wasting stats on attack, so we're not gonna put that on you. Uh, your thing is whatever your thing is. Um, what are you here? Yeah, it's not gonna go good on her. You don't have that. Uh, so clearly that wasn't a very good piece. Um, she's running a health set as well. However, again, this much speed and defense. I have to, and then not only that, it's going to force me to like change some of her gear around. 14 defense speed. So based on this, I'm probably going to go look at that. Um, let's go try that health, health helmet. So that was probably the only other one that looked pretty interesting to me. Uh, let's see. So this doesn't look too bad. This doesn't have speed, which is kind of disappointing. This one is probably the best one, and this one too, just because this will give somebody. You saw there that my Tamarin had that speed boot, and it's only 40, 40, 40 speed because you can't um, upgrade it. So maybe this will help. Let's probably get these two in addition. So we'll get this one, and this one, and that'll be everything. I might come back for this someday, just because like maybe it'll be good on somebody, but that's probably it. Um, this will probably be good on a super slow unit, but I don't like right now. I don't have time to be investing in a unit that's not going to want speed. Um, and this will be probably pretty good at some point, but like I said, I already got the two main best ones that we have here. So let's go upgrade this helmet. Uh, we have a pretty decent amount of materials here. Okay, seventy-seven. I keep counting these, and I realize I don't have to anymore. So that's like a 9 roll and an 8 roll into health. This is pretty insane um, so far, right? 6, yeah, so we got 2 rolls into health, and one of them was an 8, one of them was a 9, so that's pretty cool. Let's get one more using these. If we, if we get it all into health, that'd be amazing. So 17 plus 5, we got a min roll there, and that kind of offset. Basically, we got 3 7 rolls, which isn't too bad. Um... But the fact that we got a 5 there on the third roll diminished the 8 and 9 roll we had at the beginning, which that kind of sucks, but whatever. Okay, let's enhance. If we get it all into health, that'd be crazy. Oh my gosh, we are getting it all into health. But we're getting minimum rolls now. So basically, again, this average is out to 4 rolls by 27. 4 by 28 means we all got 7 rolls. Again, we average out at 7, and now it's actually under that. Because 4 times 7 is 28, whereas we're 27. So hopefully we can get like a speed roll. That'd be pretty nice. Um, I should probably get rid of some of these pieces. Like 24% attack, it's kind of hard to get rid of that. Um, I'm not going to get rid of this. Oh my gosh, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like that piece. Uh, I kind of want to get rid of this piece, but I won't. I want to get rid of this piece too. We'll just go here. What do we have? Come on, let's just find something nobody's using. No one's gonna use this. I don't wanna use that though. Like it's already too late, I guess. Um don't know who's gonna use this. Health, crit damage, infectious and speed, yeah, that's bad. Um is there anything else? What's this? We got Basically everything but speed here, so. I'll hang on to that though, just in case. This one's ass. Okay. So we'll uh, use this. And we'll get those other two that we had earlier. Uh, come on. Let's see what's this one. Is this the one, one of the ones we had? Yep. Let's get rid of that. Oh, okay, so now we just get rid of this junk at the bottom. See so if we get it all into health. Get a 9 roll or something. We got a 7 in defense. So this isn't too bad. Um, 
basically sevens across the board, which is upper, which is upper, you know, seven to seven to eight is basically where you want your stats to be. So if we calculate this, this is thirty four plus fourteen is forty eight plus five, or since this is a five, it's doubled, so it's ten. Forty eight is fifty eight plus seven is sixty five. So this is a sixty five gear score piece. Not too bad. Um, yeah, if we can get so many minerals on that health, it would be like absolutely amazing. We mineraled health like twice. So if we just added two to each one of those rolls, we'd get four extra HP, so we'd be at 34. We'd be close to 69, right? Almost 70. Uh, it's not too bad, but yeah, I like this so far. Um, I don't know who I'm going to give it to just because... Uh, the, the speed is kind of low, so whoever's going to take it is going to take a decent speed hit. So let's go back here and look again. Uh, if I give it to, like, Crow, who's... Where is he? Crow doesn't have a health um, helmet, but he's only got 7 speed on here. So basically they have the same stats. And if I give it to Crow, I'll have to maneuver something else and, and change something else around here. Uh, this one probably is going to be the one that's going to change. So we'll take, like, a speed set. Give him some speed and some health. I'm not gonna probably not gonna give it to Crow particularly, but we're just gonna pretend like <laughs> we are. So that's not gonna be too bad. Um, we don't lose. Actually, we lose zero speed. It kind of balanced out. Seven plus seven is fourteen. We got the five plus the the nine off of this is fourteen. Um, because of this, we gain effectiveness, which is like not. It's not bad on him. It's just not really something you want dumping on him, which is why I have this on her, because it's more useful on her. Um, we'll go with something like this, I guess. This turns out a little bit better. Uh, we're only getting 1,000 HP, uh, so I'll probably want to switch this off onto someone who, like, is already going to need it. Sadly, it's, I don't know, I'm kind of, like, not sure it'll be so, I don't want it on Tamarin, just because, where is she? Again, we're losing a lot, of, not a lot, but, like, <laughs> a decent amount of speed. Losing 9 speed um, if we switch over to this. Right, um, and the health again. It's only like a thousand. It's not too bad. It's not too good. Uh, but let's go boost up this this boot. So we're we're losing nine speed here, but we're losing five from not having a good boot. Um, so we can boost this boot and see where we get. Um, let's see. Okay. So six and a seven into the worst stats here. Um, well, actually, they're all kind of equally as bad except for health. Like, you really wanted to also just roll into health. Effectiveness isn't too bad. Again, these two stats aren't too bad on Tamarin specifically because her healing scales off of attack as well a little bit. I think it does. We've been going crazy. We got effectiveness since a 9. Um, let's start. Get this up to 12 here. Come on, give me a health roll. A 9 health roll, that's not too bad. It's kind of evenly distributed, so I'm kind of like, eh, about this, but whatever. What's this? That could be on somebody. Is this being used for anybody? Maybe? I don't really want to burn it, though. What's this? Um, I'm not sure who's supposed to use this, but it's kind of garbage, so I'm going to have to get rid of that at some point. I don't know who's using this either. Okay. Yeah, we use that. Oh, no, not that. Does this have anything on her? I don't know why I put points into this. I don't know what the <laughs> What is this? This is a health boot? <laughs> Crit chance, health, and effectiveness. I guess somebody could use this. That crit chance is eh. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna get rid of that. All right, so we got uh, a six and a nine here. That kind of sucks, but whatever. Basically, more than two seven. We got seven or seven, six and a nine, or a seven and an eight, which isn't too bad. Uh, our gear score here ends up being twenty two plus thirteen is um, thirty five. Uh, Forty nine. Uh, 49, 59, 65. So 65 again. We got the same as the last one. Um, the health is pretty good. Again, the effectiveness is good on Tamarin just because she strips on the S1, but it's not really that big a deal because she only does that as like the idle form. 
Uh, and the fact is, it's always good on healers and stuff. Let's see what we can do with her. So if we give her this and we give her this, uh, we end up with more attack, a bunch more HP. That's a pretty good increase. We don't lose that much speed, but force force speed is force speed. Effect resistance is boosting up, and we lose a little bit of effectiveness. And the way I have her now, I'm looking at her, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, she has a little bit too much effectiveness for my taste, I think. Um, she doesn't really need this much. I mean, 85 is perfect, because if you use her in Gollum, not that she's that useful in Gollum, but at least you have, you're hitting that 85% effectiveness to do whatever she wants to do against Gollum. Um, I don't think there's anything Gollum needs to be stripped of, though. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. I haven't done Gollum in, like, forever. Like, forever. Um... Triggers a dual attack, uh, health. Max health, okay, so Caster's max, allies max health, okay. Caster's max health, okay, so she doesn't heal based on her attack at all. Um, only Basar does that. I, don't, I feel like there was another one that kind of had a little bit of that in there. Where's Basar? Can't find him. So we're going to have to rebuild Basar. At some point as well, because like I said, uh, his build is kind of uh, garbage. Like I've tried this. This is this is horrible. It's actually really bad. Um, and this is this is insane because this is like a lot of survivability. This is more survivability than he'll ever have on a speed set or something like that. And he still he gets dumpstered. Sixty percent effect resistance is here. HP is here. I could run this. I could change this to an HP percentage, but then he just kind of like defeats his own purpose of like running him. Um, let's just get this, just to see the stats. 16k HP is still super low. Um, and that, and this is not only, so this is not only that, this is also considering the fact that he has 30% damage reduction right here. Um, so all that considered, he still just gets, like, annihilated. Um, but yeah, I'll have to, like, rethink what's going on with him. Um, I run a defense boot just because he scales better with defense percentage than flat then defense, then uh, flat health, or percentage health, right? Let's go back here. Uh, we can just put this on here for stats. Um, 16, and then again, we'll go here for this 18. All three health percentage, and he still only barely hits 18. It's because his, his base health is really low. It's like the lowest in the game. So for those of you who don't know, on DJ Basar and Tamarin, they actually gain more from flat stats here so let's let's see if I can find something here so do we have anything here with a flat HP stat okay so this is we have to we'll subtract this here but oh no and this doesn't make a good comparison just because this is level um, this is level uh, 85 okay this is, this is a lot more complicated than I thought it would be uh, 85 okay here we go no Okay, well, he gains 2,400 HP, so he gains 27 off of this, but the problem is that this has flat health on it, or a bunch of health on it. Uh, let's see. Does this have health on it? Yeah, of course it does. <laughs> it's hard to show this. Um, 2,460 from this, so if we give him, like, an HP percentage, we'll find, like, a 61. 20, 70. Granted, this is missing a lot of the health, right, from the rolls. So this has these two, right? But the point being, I think you can hopefully you can see that pretty clearly. Um, those don't make up for like the 300 that we get out of this. So flat again, we go flat here, 27. We get 24. So this is not even 400, right? So we're basically comparing builds. So at 1650, 16551 to does this have flat health? Yeah, it does. It has 7% health here. Um, we'll find one with, like, flat health on there. A little bit. Of, there we go. There you go. See? At non-maxed either. Oh, actually, that, yeah, that one's maxed again. No, that's 85, 85. Okay. So there we go. Uh, hopefully that kind of shows a little bit that uh, flat health skills better on him. Um, not... It's not the biggest deal, but it's really annoying when you're building him because you get diminishing returns on a lot of like health percentage rolls because he's not getting anything out of them, not getting as much out of them as someone else might get might get out of them. 
Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Anyway, this video's already gone on for half an hour, and all I did was upgrade like three pieces of gear. Uh, yeah, hopefully that was kind of entertaining to some people just to see what I would roll on this. Uh, these are the three I would take. Um, I probably wouldn't take more than these three. Let's go back again just for we'll close on the uh, on that screen. Um, but this is kind of like. I think for most people who are playing this, like, unless you're, like, super mega high tier, um, you're not running H, like, everyone, like, you're, all your Soul Weavers at the highest tier are running, like, um, speed and, and immunity. So unless, like, you're super, like, that high tier where you're in Legend or something, you could, everyone can stand to gain a good health set stuff just to, like, have casually thrown around. Because you don't farm a lot of health set. You do get a lot of health set, like, they give them out for free. You get a lot of stuff from the uh, adventure, from the, you know story mode and all that stuff so uh it's good to have them they're just decent pieces they've got great substats like i said you know these are pretty good substats for what it is right you're not gonna like it's gonna take forever to find a five speed uh substat of course you can just not roll in, into it and it's just five speed it's five speed um but keep that in mind um but yeah so that's it for today um hopefully this video's not too boring but you know i just thought it'd be interesting to see um where we where we are with this gear um and that's probably all i want to pull for here so you know that'll be it uh yeah until next time i'll see what i do uh guild wars today so i'll probably do that and upload that at some point